Once a common sight fluttering around the peatlands and mosses of Greater Manchester, the Manchester Argus or large heath butterfly became locally extinct around 150 years ago. But thanks to the Great Manchester Wetlands Species Reintroduction Programme, it's back. My name's Andy. I'm in my fifth year volunteering on the Mosslands and I'm a research student at MMU. Uh, William Dewin was a famous nature illustrator of his time. In 1795, he wrote about a Moslem butterfly called the Manchester Argus. However, once so iconic it was named for the area, the Manchester Argus was not to be with us for long. The Manchester Argus butterfly became extinct around the end of the 19th century and the creation of the Manchester to Liverpool Railway caused large areas of the Chatmos peatlands to be drained. Peat was both extracted for fuel and other areas were converted to their agriculture, causing the loss of the plant species that the Manchester Argus relied upon. Unfortunately, this damage to much of our peatlands continues to this day, with large areas of precious peat still being drained. So, as it was people who drove the Manchester Argus to extinction, it needed to be people who had to work to bring it back. I am Paul Thomas. I work with Natural England and I've been uh, acting as an advisor to the uh, Large Heath Reintroduction Project. So I've been working with the partnership and landowners for oh, a number of years now to get these sites ready uh, for the reintroductions to occur. So we've been doing a lot of work to restore the hydrology, uh, to, to re-wet the mosses so, uh, and also allow the community that supports the Large Heath Butterfly to, to recover and the um, and thrive so it's ready for the butterflies to come back. The first stage of getting the Manchester Argus's home ready for them again was to turn the peatlands back into bogs by re-wetting them. Peat walls called buns were installed and ditches were blocked. Then came the planting. Andy Osborne again. Cotton grass covers the bare peat and is the favourite caterpillar food plant. Cross-leaved heath comes into flower before common heather and is the main nectar source for the adult butterfly. So some of Manchester's peatlands have been brought back to life, but where was our butterfly? You can still find it in Lancashire um, on one of the other mosses near Fleetwood. Now that's really good but it's the last sort of location. There are some other sites in southern Cumbria and a couple of sites in Chester uh, Cheshire but it is really now localized and is only found on these type of habitats where you've got the bog the cotton grass and so on so we've what we've got to do because it can't fly here on its own is to reintroduce it so a surviving population of large heath butterflies have been identified at Wimmarley Moss near Fleetwood which we hope to use as a donor population for the reintroduction we decided we got the right numbers we kind of uh, the Three or four of us, plus the help of Chester Zoo, went onto the moss and caught six females, which was a really good experience for us because it's, it's the first time a lot of us have actually seen the butterfly uh, on the wing because uh, you know it's such a rare species now. Uh, and we were the, they were then taken to Chester Zoo, where they were able to kind of uh, lay eggs uh, within specially built enclosures. They've been kept in captivity at Chester Zoo in a special rearing enclosure, so it's been really important that we've used their skills of Chester Zoo to uh, breed them. Not long after arriving at Chester Zoo, the eggs hatched into tiny caterpillars, which were cared for by the specialist keepers until they pupated in May this year and could be transported to their release site. Hi there, my name is Andy Hankinson. I am one of the Lancashire Peatland Initiative Project Officers. Now what we have in front of us here is the butterfly release enclosure. Now this is where the pupae are kept which have come from Chester Zoo and we leave them in here until we get emergent butterflies and simply unzip the front here and let them fly out onto their new home. So that's it, the Manchester Argus butterfly is back on Manchester's peatlands for the first time in nearly 150 years. The reintroduction is part of an ongoing multi-partner project that aims, in time, to re-establish a stable population of this butterfly over a number of sites in the Great Manchester Wetlands Nature Recovery Network. The species reintroduction's partners are also working on projects to reintroduce other Muslim specialist plants and animals such as the bogbush cricket, the white-faced darter dragonfly and great sundew and lesser bladderwort.